everyone, Victor Atlasman here. Now today we're charging the Kia EV6, as you can see right now that we're charging. And I wanna talk about EV charge rates. And what you're gonna see is that different vehicles have different charge rates. So let's go inside and take a look. So the EV6 is one of the faster vehicles to accept a charge rate of beyond 200, 250 kilowatts. And as you can see over here, currently we're at 80% and it's taken 120, 122 kilowatts. And that is what the vehicle can take at the state of charge. What you're gonna notice is that when the vehicle starts from the first zero, 10, 20%, you're gonna see that near full performance of charging capabilities. But every vehicle is different. For example, Chevy Bolt does about 50 kilowatts where an Audi e-tron does 155 kilowatts. So vehicles are starting to come out with faster and faster charge rates. And as you're gonna notice, um, as it starts going beyond the 80%, you're gonna see that number start to go down. Now it fluctuates based on environmental conditions, based on the conditions of the battery. For example, in hotter conditions, conditions, you actually see a much faster charge rate, where in colder conditions, it takes time for the battery pack to warm up before it starts pushing that juice, that electrons uh, into the battery pack. So what's really important about the new charging is the fact that we are the fastest charging station to exist in the sense that we provide the full power that any vehicle on the market asks for. We can produce 700 kilowatts of power to a vehicle. Now, a lot of people are asking why 700 kilowatts? Well, primarily because a lot of the EV stations that exist are 150 kilowatts or less and in an example of this car that can take more than 200 kilowatts there is an infrastructure out there to charge this vehicle so in that particular case this vehicle is going to take nearly an hour to charge from zero to 80 percent and we are confident with our charging station you can get the fastest the best charge rate ever on the market today um, and most evs today will charge zero to 80 percent in half hour even in this case. And so this is a really important thing to talk about because this is why you don't see vehicles in the market that go zero to 100% in 15 minutes. It all has to do with not just the battery technology or battery chemistry, but in terms of the performance of delivery from the charging station and what the battery is capable of accepting. 